Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. In today's video, we'll check out the new Butt Kicker Game Plus and discuss how it has improved since the Gamer 2 and how it helps add more immersion to Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'll be making reference to my existing Butt Kicker videos and I encourage you to check them out in the links provided. This new model of Butt Kicker really does push the level of immersion inside the sim since it produces so many different vibrations based on the sounds. This means that when you bank or descend, you can really feel the effects through the haptic feedback. This refined model is way more sensitive and works extremely well with the SimShaker for Aviators software. Honestly, I never fly without the added immersive effects of the butt kicker and see it as an essential part of my sim rig. Priced at 280 US dollars, it's definitely worth picking up if you intend to push your sim setup even further by adding yet another element of realism and it works especially well in VR. So it's definitely a highly recommended add-on if you do want to push things a little bit further. So as you can see, I'm flying over Tirana in Albania and I've got the camera on the butt kicker for my next level racing chair and it's working absolutely perfectly. For a more in-depth look at how I set up the butt kicker, you can check out my video in the link above. Please note that this new version allows the same setup procedure as the Gamer 2 version and that's why I'm not including the setup or software tutorials in this video. Butt Kicker Gamer Plus is the new and upgraded flight simming and gaming haptic hardware that reproduces immersive, accurate and powerful flight sim and gaming effects, making your flights much more realistic and your sim experience better. With the Gamer Plus, you can experience realistic and accurate feedback from any game or sim, such as engine dynamics in both flight and racing, incoming fire in your favourite battle royale, all from the in-game audio, so it can be used for a range of titles. But I must say, it's absolutely brilliant in Microsoft Flight Simulator and adds so much more immersion. I would highly recommend that you purchase an external sound card which can be connected via USB. I use the Ugreen USB adapter which works really well without breaking the bank. I think it cost me about 10 US dollars. I've left a direct link in the video description for your convenience so you can purchase it easily. You can turn your subwoofer down or off and still feel all the feedback you want. It even works using headphones or a VR headset so there's no need to make the room loud in order to experience deep gaming immersion. That being said, it is a very quiet unit. And here you can find the inbox contents. This time you get remote control rather than a wired connection. Here you can see the transducer itself that connects directly to the amplifier. Connecting the cables and getting set up ready to go is extremely easy. When I received the new Gamer Plus model, I simply connected it in exactly the same way and it works flawlessly. To see a full setup demo, check out the video above. And the best upgrade for the system is this digital power amplifier. Here you can use a remote control to change the volume. You can also turn on the low filter cutoff as well as changing the high cutoff frequency values. And this gives you the best control over the amount of haptic feedback you want in the sim while you're flying. And it's great because once you get it set, it remembers those settings for next time. One huge new development in the product line is that you can now connect the amplifier via USB and install it as a virtual audio device in Windows. Combined with the new Haptic Connect software, you can now skip straight to a set of working defaults in the Haptic Connect. There are plans to make more game profiles, but for now Microsoft Flight Simulator does not have one. However, I use SimShaker for Aviators, which works perfectly, as it has done since I installed it for the Gamer 2 model. Remember, I connect it directly to the external sound card with a 6.5 inch RCA to Mini 3.5mm cable. The choice is you also connect it via USB, but I would advise to wait for that until a gaming profile has been made. I would however like to emphasize that the Gamer Plus makes a much more natural feel when it comes to haptic feedback. It feels like there's more depth and variety in the actual unit, which just improves things in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Overall, I'm really impressed with the unit, and I'm really impressed with how quiet the whole system actually is. This makes it possible to fly at night while other people in the house are sleeping, which is useful for many. I also noticed that because of the new digital controls, I'm able to redial in the amount of vibration I want going into the butt kicker and it's easier to set the volume correctly without worrying about overuse. All you need to do is make sure you don't allow it to peak and this can be monitored by checking that the red light doesn't come on while you're flying and if it does, you just turn down the volume slightly. Like I said before, if you're looking for a full demonstration of the butt kicker, you can check out my video above. This is the new model, but much of the functionality is the same. However, it's a much improved experience and I'm really enjoying the subtleties of the haptic feedback along with the SimShaker software. And do feel free to leave your own feedback about the butt kicker if you're using it with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Also a reminder that I'll be hosting a group flight in Bolivia tomorrow night, which is Saturday the 16th of April. It's an amazing community and it's always so much fun flying together. You can find all the information in the links provided. As always, I hope you find this content useful 
I look forward to making the next video soon. As always, take care and stay safe.